Even all remarks here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video. And this video, we're going to be checking out the exciting title, the amazing title, Jigsaw 360. Now, okay, that doesn't probably sound super exciting, but it is actually quite a fun little game. And I'm sure for a lot of people on the Oculus Go, it's one of the probably perfect experiences for just kind of sitting down, relaxing, and playing through. Now, the developer got in contact with me, gave me early access, so it's not out yet. It has been submitted to Oculus. It will be $2, um, and it, what it enables you to do is create a, or play a jigsaw, put a jigsaw together in 360 degrees, and you can upload your own 360 degree photos to your Oculus Go and do those as well, so that's kind of cool. Um, it, they did say that they have tried to get it onto the Oculus Quest, but unfortunately Oculus has denied them. Uh, it is already available on the Rift, and on the Rift and the Oculus Quest, you can sort of lean forward, grab pieces, pick them up, put them in. Whereas on the Oculus Go, you'll see it's more kind of like a pointer, guided over, slotted in sort of thing. So the experience is a little bit different, but it is a bit more sort of um, six degrees of freedom sort of using in uh, the sort of Rift and Quest version, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's coming to the Quest. So we get to enjoy it on the Oculus Go instead. So that has some benefits of some things not making it onto the Quest, that they might come down to the Go anyway, because you know, why not? The Go is perfect for doing Jigsaw. So let's jump in, check out Jigsaw 360 and show you what it does. Right, so here we are in Jigsaw 360. So you get yourself a 360 degree environment. You've got a couple of things that you can kind of push things to. You have a VR hand, which you can grab things and press your thumb down and grab and press your thumb down if you want to. Uh, but the controls are pretty straightforward, pretty basic. So the controller becomes like a pointer, pretty much like you can imagine normally in pretty much any other Go game. Settings, we have music. You can change the sort of background sounds to nature, rain or waves. Uh, you can increase the volume. Uh, background image, you can make it kind of fade for how bright you want it. Uh, you can change the snap. So when you put in jigsaw pieces together, you can sort of change how easily they snap together. So how precise do you have to be? Uh, there's a few advanced options as well. Uh, and if we click play, you get, I think it's 10 built-in ones. So earth, guardian, end boss, relaxation, temple, landscape, mansion, mansion, full colors, and sea lions, uh, and you can click add more photos. So, if you plug your Oculus Go into your PC or Mac if you have Android uh, transfer installed on your Mac, you can get the headset up as a drive and transfer things in. So if you have um, 8K or 4K, uh, 360 degree photos that you've taken with your cameras in .png format, you can drag them into the pictures slash 360 folder. So you need to create the 360 folder. What I would say is a bit of advice, if you connect your headset to your PC and it doesn't show up, it's probably because you've got developer mode enabled and that's for more for sort of uh, side loading and stuff like that. So disable developer mode in the app if it's not showing up. And then when you connect it, you should be able to accept a message in your headset and then it should show up as a drive to be able to use it. So I have already added in an extra one here. So this is my own picture, warhammer.png. So this is a 360 degree photo that I've taken myself of Warhammer characters. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Uh, we then just click play and you can choose between eight and 162 pieces. Now to keep things short, we'll just choose uh, 18. Spherical or flat jigsaws you can choose from. Let's choose a spherical one. And what you end up with is this globe, and this is where you put the jigsaw pieces, so they will fade away. And what you look around at is what the pieces are in here. So this guy standing right in front of me are the pieces that I need to find to put there. So you can grab the little ball and move this wherever you want, so you don't have to have it in that one particular place. Uh, you can then spin it round with just touching the sort of touchpad. So left and right, let go. Um, and find um, you, whatever sort of is in front of you in this background is the way the orientation of this uh, jigsaw is. So let's have a little look. So if we spin around, I think to about this point, yeah, here we go. So look at this big guy here. I can already see this bit of jigsaw here goes to him. And then you use the touchpad again to spin it around into the right position and slot it in. 
So we can look down here, let's try and find another piece of him. Here's his legs. Let's spin it around again. So you click on it with the trigger to grab it and then drop it in. There we go. And what else do we need? A little bit of his head and his axe. Uh, can I see it for looking? I can't see it for looking. Is that it? I can't I can't really tell. Is that it? Oh, come here. Yeah, that looks like yeah, that looks like over his head, so that goes there. There you go. Uh, and then we just need a bit of his axe, but what you can do, if you kind of get stuck, you can just spin it around, look at something else, and now we've got this guy here. So we should be able to find bits of him, surely. Uh, so this is a bit of his leg. So this should go about here, I guess. There we go. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, oh, I think I found a bit of that guy's um, sword there. Where's this guy? <laughs> where's, where's all these guys' bits? What's this bit here? Oh, there you go. Here's a bit of his gun. So let's bring that over here. Snap. Uh, what else we got? This bit, is it? Is it this bit? I think it is, isn't it? Here we go. So it's quite peaceful. It'd be nice to have your own music to put in here. Um, but it's not bad, the music they got in there. It's kind of non-offensive. Uh, it's not going to kind of upset anyone. I think this goes here. They got the picture of this guy looking very sort of amused at these uh, characters. Uh, slot that in. There we go. Uh, what else we got? This one. Oh, she went around. Actually, you know, she goes. So you can move those over there and spin that around a bit more this way. She thinks she goes up here. Yes, here we go. Right there. Pink. And um, what's there between those two? We need, oh, we need actually him, don't we? And there he is. Spin him up, put him in. So it's not the most exciting game in the world, but it's jigsaws at the end of the day, and there's nothing wrong with it. It works very well. It would be nice to kind of see, I might, might have to give the uh, the Rift version a go, um, to see, oh, where am I going? Uh, to see sort of what the difference would be. Because it's a shame it isn't coming to the Oculus Quest. It's only coming to... Uh, these ones, so what we've got here, so we've got some more trousers, is that him? No, what's that? That's not That's not him, is it? Is that him? Yeah, oh, that's him, yeah. So that goes in there. Spin that around, where we go, we've got some more bits in the centre. Yeah, look at that. Uh, but I don't know, let me know, is it jigsaws, the sort of thing you'd be into? Uh, you can change the uh, size of this sort of jigsaw tray, as it were. Make it bigger, make it smaller, move it over to that side or down that side or wherever you want to kind of put it wherever it works best for you uh, let's put that there and uh, what else we got this guy's legs spin it around so it's nice that you can add your own 360 photos or any others so if you find any online and you'd like to use them all you got to do is make sure they're PNG and 4k or 8k in resolution um, and you can bring them in so what's that that one we're almost done with this puzzle. Uh, there we go. And grab that and spin it around a bit more. Then we need a bit of uh, that ceiling. Uh, yep, there we go. Let's top his axe. In it goes. And one final piece. We'll just drop that Ooh, all the way around. In there. And bingo! There we are. We get a little animation. Go, woohoo, well done you. And you get some uh, percentage increases on how many puzzles you've done. Uh, you've got to basically kind of do harder and harder puzzles uh, to continue. Uh, there we go. Click play. And back to the main menu. So it's quite a nice little app. I think if you're into jigsaws, it's quite a relaxing thing to play. I'll be interested in actually, should we, just, should we just for the sake of it, just click on Earth. And see what a 162 piece jigsaw looks like. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. This is, uh. Yeah, this will be fun. I'm not gonna do this now because it's gonna take a while. But, you know, keep this plugged in, chill out, sit down. You don't have to turn around or mess around. It's nice and straightforward. It's quite a fun little app. It's gonna, gonna be a couple of dollars. Uh, so, what's that? Probably like £1.80 or something like that. Uh, £1.50, so bargain really, for what you can do with it. It's nice fun, it works very well, uh, it looks kind of cool. You can put this wherever you want it, 
Woohoo! You can do it back to front if you want to. So you can put jigsaw pieces in these as well. So put in jigsaw. So you can actually cheat. You can actually pick them up and go, oh, I don't know where this bit goes, put it in there. And it automatically appears. Now that's cheating, but I guess if you're kind of struggling or you want to kind of get a head start on these, you can. If you want to put it back into the tray, just click there and it drops back into the tray. Uh, same things on the other side, so it kind of can give you a bit of a hand. But yeah, I like this. It's pretty cool. It'll be interesting to kind of see uh, which 360 photos other people use. Let me know in the comments down below what 360 photos you're going to try if you buy Jigsaw 360. So there we go, Jigsaw 360, as I say, not the most exciting game ever, but I think for the money it works very well. The guy who's put effort into this has put a lot of time and effort into it to refine it, make it work very well. And the fact that you can import your own 360 photos um, and play with those and create jigsaws, jigsaws out of them would be quite good as well. So, I mean, it's quite nice. I think if we had the option to maybe play our own music, it would be quite nice. nice. Maybe pop MP3s in there or link to YouTube videos or something like that. That could be quite fun. But overall, works very well. It's a kind of a shame that it's not coming to the Quest. I can kind of see why. Because I know with the Quest, they're trying to be sort of as fancy with the VR games as they can. Make them sort of really sort of use the controllers and duck and move and whatever. The developer has said in the Rift version and the Quest version, you do pick up pieces and you choose where you place them. So you say you'd pick it up and spin it yourself and put it, put it in. Whereas with the Oculus Go, you literally kind of point with your pointer and grab it and spin it, which I guess kind of shows that it doesn't need six degrees of freedom to make use of the app. So maybe that's why they've decided, Oculus has decided not to let it through onto the quest. I don't know. I think they got, the guy can appeal it and we'll see what happens. But if not, we've got it on the Oculus Go. Bargain, I think it's a bonus for us. And we'll probably see a lot more of those. I think we'll see probably quite a lot more of developers developing for the quest, not getting on it. And because it's very similar in sort of platform wise, they could hopefully pair it down just a little bit more and get it onto the go for us to enjoy. So, you know, still making some money for themselves. It's not a complete bust, and we get the bonus on some more experiences. Granted, they're kind of technically rejects, but I think proven by this, they're not bad. They're actually quite good. So, yeah, win-win for all, really. Let me know what you think about Jigsaw 360 in the comments down below, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't, that's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it, but do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it. I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the Remarkables, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five.